What is the most common cause of upper airway obstruction in the unconscious or unresponsive patient? This is the loss of tone in the throat muscle. So when the tone in the throat muscle is lost, what do you, uh, what do you expect obstructing the airway? So in this case, the tongue falls back and occludes the airway at the level of the pharynx. So you have an airway obstruction there. So uh, you have to remember that when a, pa when a patient is unresponsive, what could be obstructing the airway? It is the tongue. And that is the most common cause of upper airway obstruction. So the tongue is obstructing the airway. How can you fix this? You have to do a maneuver, what they call this maneuver. A head tilt chin lift maneuver. This, uh, this maneuver lifts the tongue, lifts the tongue, relieving the obstruction. And uh, what if you are suspecting a cervical spine trauma? What maneuver are you going to do? You have to use the Jotras maneuver without head extension. Half thrust technique. To properly perform this technique, place your fingers behind the angles of the patient's lower jaw and move the jaw upward. At the same time, use your thumbs to open the mouth slightly. So how can you maintain airway patency in patients who are unconscious with no cuff or gag reflex? What are you going to insert? You have to insert an oral, oral pharyngeal airway or nasopharyngeal airway. So this is to maintain airway patency. How about a patient who was known to be choking? So if you find an unconscious or unresponsive patient who was known to be choking and is now unresponsive and in respiratory arrest, open the mouth wide and look for a foreign object. So if you see one, remove it with your fingers and if you do not see a foreign object, begin CPR.